वेलकम बैक गाइस आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू बी फाइन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन 5.17 एंड 5.18 ऑफ चैप्टर 5 दिस टू क्वेश्चंस आर क्लोजली रिलेवेंट विद ईच अदर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मीन एंड वेरिएंस ऑफ द बाइनोमियल प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो मीन ऑफ द बाइनोमियल प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कैन बी रिटर्न एज एन पी where n is basically the number of items and p is the probability of the positive or probability of the happening of something similarly variance of the binomial probability distribution can be written as n p 1 minus p okay as 1 minus p is q so therefore it would be n p q okay it is represented as sigma square and this is what this is mu okay so this is what we have to utilize today and in question 5.17 we have to see that if x represents the number of people in exercise 5.13 who believe that antidepressant do not cure but only cover up the real problem find the mean and variance of x when five people are selected at random okay so here in question 5.17 okay let me write here the given data with it here the number of items or number of people are basically 5 and what do we have to find out we have to find out the mean and b variance of it okay as we know here that mean is equal to np where variance is npq okay we don't know the value of p and that is already given in question 5.13 let us go to question 5.13 now so this is question 5.13 and here we can see that what was basically the value of p here we can see the national study that examined attitudes about antidepressant revealed that approximately 70% of respondents believe antidepressants do not really cure anything they just cover up the real trouble okay so here it can be very clearly see that p is 0.7 okay so q which is 1 minus p that is 0.3 okay so let us get back to our question so here as we have been given that p is 0.7 and q is 0.3 okay so let me put these values here this n is 5 and p is 0.7 so it would be 3.5 okay also here putting the values here n is 5 p is 0.7 okay and q is 0.3 okay so it will be something like uh, one point something or this would be sigma square okay similarly if you want to find out the standard deviation which is sigma so you have to do what you have to take the square root of this sigma okay so this is what this is the standard deviation and we have found out the values by them and these are basically the answers of our questions this is 3.5 and this is here you have to calculate it and then you will get the answer here now let us move towards question 5.18 and in question 5.18 Part A is in exercise 5.9. How many of the 15 trucks would you expect to have blowouts? And B, what is the variance of the number of blowouts experienced by the 15 trucks? Okay. So here it is very clear that in question 5.18, the number of items here are basically how much? These are 15. Okay. So these are 15. And in order to find the mean of it, this is part A. and in order to find the mean of it we know that mean is what this is np and b is for variance okay this is for variance and the formula for variance will remain the same and that is npq okay in question 5.9 let us see the value of p which is here not known so let us move to question 5.9 so this is question 5.9 and here we can see that in testing a certain kind of truck tire or rushed terrain it is found that 25% okay so p is here what this is 0.25 and q is how much that would be 1 minus p so 1 minus p is 0. 
seven five okay so these values are known here so let us move back to our question so p was 0 0.25 and let me put these values here so it would be 15 multiplied by let me change the color here so it would be what np so np is n is 15 multiplied by 0 0.25 and here the answer of it will be here similarly for the variance of it which is sigma square what i will get here n is 15 p is 0 0.25 while q is how much we have also found out q and that was 0 0.75 and multiplying with it 0 0.75 as well okay so this is what this is basically the solution of question 5.17 and 5.18 which are basically related with the mean and variance of the binomial probability distribution okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have discussed the meaning and uh, solution of the questions which are related to mean and variance of the binomial distribution see you soon